So we have a, a, a pie chart here that actually shows what you found about the percentage of companies that, that you cover who really are concerned about this. And you see it's a substantial majority. It's like 73% of the country companies are really concerned. Uh, how big a concern is this for people? Clearly a lot of companies are. Is it a deep concern? Is it a profound concern? Probably the biggest thing we have to keep in mind here is it's based on how long companies think this is going to go on. There certainly is a desire among American companies to see the issues that are at the core of these cases on intellectual property rights and technology transfer addressed, but significant disagreement on the tariffs, not just because of the increased cost that the Crate and Barrel CEO mentioned, but also because it has other effects in terms of making their products less competitive. And do you have a sense from your members about how long they think it may go on? We've heard Jack. Jack Ma yesterday say he thinks it would be 20 years. Uh, I think 20 years probably is a little bit long. Um, our hope is that, uh, particularly with signs that the Chinese are actually interested in talking about the specifics of what it would take to address these concerns, that this is a matter that can be addressed sooner rather than later, ideally well before the end of the year. And I think another important part, Aaron, is to not only look at companies that are here in the U.S. that have exposure to China, but those companies that have subsidiaries in China that operate there. What are you hearing about the potential things like loss of sales region in China or regulatory hurdles in China? Yeah, well, actually, the founding that we had from our survey on this issue um, showed that the way that companies were feeling effects of the trade tensions were both in terms of increased costs because of tariffs on both sides, but increased scrutiny from regulators, uh, loss of sales because of uncertainty about U.S. companies as suppliers, and some concerns among Chinese customers about the optics of buying from American companies. So, Aaron, we talked a short time ago, about an hour and 15 minutes ago now, with Kevin Hassett, the chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors at the White House, and we pushed him on why U.S. companies seem to be really concerned about this, and this is what he had to say to reassure them. The, the objective is to open up U.S. markets to China, and if we're successful at opening up the markets to China, then that'll be great for U.S. companies. And so that's really our long-run objective. And, and right now, we're in a situation where China is uh, abusing the trade policies that exist, abusing, uh, abusing the WTO, and we've got to step in there and get them to correct that. So, Aaron, you heard Kevin there say this is a short-term, long-term issue. In the long run, this is going to be great for U.S. companies. Is that the problem? Are U.S. companies, the people you're talking with, just too short-sighted? Uh, no, I don't think that's what the problem is at all. We agree that these are important issues and that there are certainly challenges with how China treats foreign companies in its market and how it uh, fully implements its WTO rules. The issue here is whether tariffs are a way to get China to address those things. I think it is uh, a vast underestimation of the Chinese economy if we think that tariffs are going to bring them to the table to talk about issues like intellectual property rights and technology transfer. The Chinese have said they're willing to talk about the substance of those issues. If the goal here is to address them, then we should take advantage of that now.